If you have ever tried setting a home server, you might know that it can be quite tricky at times. There are plenty of apps all over the internet that claim to make home server management easy for you. But when it comes to performance, there is only a few that can match TP. TP simplifies home server management to an extreme level. I have tried different home server management systems like Umbrel, Cos OS, and they work fine for the most part, but they are not as stable as you want them for your home server applications. TP is the one that I found to be the most stable of them all. TP offers the best experience out of the box. It's simple, it's elegant and extremely easy to use. TP offers native HTTPS with its own proxy so you can access it everywhere. In this video, we are going to take a detailed look at what features are provided by TP and how we can use this to access our services remotely. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The best part of TP is how easy it is to use apps. TP offers plenty of nice features for your home lab deployment. Configuration management is simple as ever. There is a dedicated app store with already configured services that can be installed with the simple click. I was surprised how user friendly it is to set up everything. TP is really geared towards people who want to get into self-hosting but do not have the necessary knowledge to set up things. Installing apps is just one click. TP is for everyone. The setup is quite similar to installing apps on Windows machine for example. All you just have to do is to run a command and your server is ready to go. It is fully customizable. You can change and modify settings and configurations according to your own needs. Before we proceed further, click on the like and subscribe button down below to stay updated with exciting news and projects regarding home servers. So let's now see how we can install TP. Installation is super straightforward. All you need to do is run a simple script provided by TP. This will do everything for you. Make sure that curl is installed on your system. This script will pull all the docker images it needs to run and it will take some time depending on your internet connection. So I'm going to fast forward this. Once TP is installed, go to the web server address shown and it will give you a quick overview of your system. When you go to the web page of TP, you are presented with a prompt to create an account. Enter an email and password of your choice. There is not too much going on on the main interface. You have a quick overview about the disk, CPU and memory usage. My apps tab displays the list of currently installed apps. Since there is no pre-installed apps at the moment, it's empty. If you want to install apps, you can go to the App Store. The App Store has plenty of apps for you to install from all categories like media streaming, finance, network security and so on. You can click on install and that's it. The app is ready. TP takes care of all the background tasks. Although installing template applications can be pretty straightforward, installing apps that are not present in the App Store can be a little tricky. The documentation page provides detailed instructions on installing custom apps with Docker, but you need to have a little understanding about Docker to make it work. The documentation page is decent but not too great. There is still a lot of information missing there, and hopefully this will improve over time. TP offers a built-in reverse proxy. You can use self-signed SSL certificates with Let's Encrypt for accessing your server outside of your local network. You don't need to rely on third-party proxies like traffic or nginx reverse proxy all you need for it to work is to have a domain also you need to be sure that your port 80 and 443 are directed to your server once it's done it generates a self-signed certificate and validates it with let's encrypt server to provide complete https support you can also use VPNs like WireGuard or TailScale to access it remotely without having a domain. Let's quickly see how we can install an app from TP App Store. Simply go to the App Store and you will see a lot of pre-configured template applications. 
HTTP offers about 148 applications. Let's say we want to install Nextcloud on our server. Simply search for the Nextcloud application. We will use Nextcloud exposed to the outside world so we can access it from anywhere. You will first need to create an admin user. You will also need to have a domain if you want it exposed to outside network. Click on the expose button and write your desired domain in the box. It will take some time to install the application. Once the application is installed, you will see an open button. Click on that and it will redirect you to your Nextcloud domain. Note that even though it says it's installed, there are still some processes running in the background so don't panic. It will take some time. Once it has been installed completely, you can refresh the page again to access the Nextcloud instance. Enter your username and password you chose earlier and voila, you are ready. Now you can save your personal data on your own cloud and sync it with the next cloud client on both Android and on PC. AP is a great tool if you are just starting with home servers and don't know where to start. It offers a decent set of pre-configured apps. However, if you want more control, you will have to look elsewhere. And with this, we come to an end of our video. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.